Dear students, in this video, we are going to discuss binomial array angles. What is the importance of binomial array antennas? Now let us go to the third one for less. Binomial array. What is meant by this binomial array? What is meant by this binomial array? So see here, binomial array means, for example, what is the need of binomial array? Why should I go for a binomial array? If you, if, if as number of elements in the array increases, as number of elements in the array increases, no doubt the gain of the directivity increases. At the same time, what is the disadvantage? The same time, what is the, uh, what is the disadvantage? More number of elements are there. For example, let us take three elements are there. I may get the radiation pattern like this. If five elements are there, I may get the radiation pattern like this. So no doubt gain increases. No doubt gain or directivity increases. But what is the disadvantage you, you, you notice with these two diagrams? Here this is due to three elements. This is due to let us consider 10 elements. Okay, what is the disadvantage you have noticed in this diagram? Here your gain is less, okay, but at the same time, we are only have got two side loops, but here I have got four or five side loops. So, is the side loops are required? No, not at all. Side loops are unwanted radiations. Any and you know, means as you are increasing the number of elements, as you are increasing the number of elements here up to now, <coughs> up to now, you have provided only the magnitude is same. For first element, for example, you are providing 10, 10 amperes current. For 10th element also, you are providing 10, third. second element, 10 amperes, third element, 10 amperes, like that, you are providing equal uh, currents. Okay, if you do like that, no doubt, as you are increasing the number of elements, what happens automatically? A directivity increases. At the same time, what is the disadvantage? More side loops comes into picture. Is it... Uh, uh, is it acceptable? Side loops are. What is model side loops? Any antenna, all of practical antennas are directional antennas. So you should radiate only in that particular direction. Along with that, as you are increasing more number of elements, as you are increasing more number of elements and providing a equal magnitude of all the uh, elements, you are getting at the same time side loops. Okay. So, in some applications, in some applications, there, there should not be any side loops. There, there should not be any, where there should not be any side loops. How will you achieve that? How will you achieve that? How will you achieve for an antenna without side loops? The main principle, how to eliminate the side loops. How to eliminate the side loops. The technique which is used to Eliminate side loops and present only the major loop is called as binomial array. By using this binomial array, by using this binomial array, what is the advantage in the binomial array? What is the main advantage of binomial array? Here we can reduce the side loops. We can get only the major loop. In some applications, there is the need of only major loop. No side loops are required. For that case, we want to go for binomial array. How will you achieve this? How will you? Which is this? How will you get the binomial? Uh, uh, how will you how will you suppress the side loops? How will you suppress the side loops? So, so, so see here in the case of uniform array to increase the directivity, the array length has to be increased. But when the array, array length increases, what happens? The side loops appear in the pattern. Okay, so in some applications, it is desired to have a single main loop with no minor loops. Okay, in order to reduce the minor loops are in order to eliminate the minor loops, the technique you are having is binomial array. Mean means the minor loops should be eliminated completely or reduced to minimum level as compared to the main level. To achieve such a pattern, the array is in a way such that the part side array radiates more strongly at the center than the other edges. Okay, so this is the binomial expression, one plus and minus x1, this is the general expression of where m is the binomial theory. How will you get that? How will you get that. So, which type of uh, excitations I want to provide. Let us see here, for example, as for general for the general uh, antennas, for example, let us consider four antennas are there. Okay. So, here the magnitude, for example, 
if I am providing E0 here, all elements are provided with E0 only. So if, if I provide like this, I will get radiation is maximum, but at the same time, I am getting side loops. Okay. So what is your aim here? You want to eliminate the side loops. Side loops should not be there. So what should you want to do? You want to provide, for example, four elements are there. Four elements are there. Here I am providing E0. This may be, for example, Okay, for example, this is 3E0, this is 3E0 and E0. Okay, if you do like this, okay, for first antenna, for providing current of magnitude E0 and for that one, three times, and look, uh, sir, this is first element, second element, third element, fourth element. Okay, for first element, you are providing only magnitude is E0. Okay, for second uh, current element, you are providing 3E0. Okay, for third element also, you are providing 3 naught and fourth element, 4 naught, then you will get only the major loop. We don't get any side loops. Okay. So if you if you do like this, we don't get any side loops. You don't get any side loops. Okay. So there is a small Pascal triangle is there. So what is the, for example, if it is five element. Uh, so for each element, how much of uh, magnitude of current or uh, uh, supply you want to provide such that I should get only the major loop without any side loops. Okay, so draw that. So, for example, here let us consider here m is equal to 1. Okay, so this is 1. For example, if two elements are there, how should I provide that? 1, 1. For example, if three elements are there, m is equal to 3. I want to write like this. Simply add 1 plus 1, it is 2, 3. Means, if 3 elements are there, first element I will provide with E0, second element I will provide with 2 E0, and the third element I will provide with E0, such that I will get only major loop, I does not get any side loops. Okay, let us let us take for example, M is equal to 4. Okay, if M is equal to 4, simply write on the first one, add these two numbers, 1 plus 2 is 3, add these two numbers, 1 plus 2 plus 1 is 3, and write down Next, similarly, for m is equal to 5. Okay, first to write down this one here. Add these two numbers. 1 plus 3 means 4. Next, add these two numbers. 3 plus 3 is 6. Next, add these two numbers. 3 plus 1 is 4. Like this. Means if there are 5 elements, how should I feed my antenna? If this is E0, here second element I want to feed with 4 E0. Third element I want to pour with, feed with 6 E0. And the four, fourth element I want to feed with 4 E0. And the last element I want to feed with 5 elements. Similarly, for let us take for m is equal to 6. That is 1. Add this 5. Add this 10. Add this 10. Add this 5. Like this. So, this triangle is nothing but called as Pascal's triangle. Pascal's triangle. Means, it is clear. So, each element, for example, here how many current elements, uh, in an array, how many elements are uh, antennas are there? Six antenna. So for first antenna, I will provide E0. For second antenna, I will provide 5 E0. For third antenna, I will provide 10 E0. For the fourth antenna, I will provide 10 E0. For the fifth one, I will provide 5 E0. For the sixth one, I will provide like this. If I provide like this, I will get only the major. I will get only the major loop, but I don't get any side. Loops. I don't get any side. Loops. Okay, so this is nothing but the Pascal triangle. You can take for any number of values. Okay. So this is the expression. Okay. So for non-uniform amplitude distribution, uh, why you are calling it as non yeah, non-uniform amplitudes? Up to now, we have studied only uniform amplitude. Means all elements are fed with equal amplitude. But right now, here what we are doing, here we are providing different uh, here we are providing different uh, here amplitudes are different for uh, First element E0, for fourth element 84 E0, for uh, sixth element 126 E0, for uh, ninth element 9 E0. Here you are not providing any equal mag amplitude. Here you are providing non uniform. It is not uniform, it is non uniform. So that is uh, the same thing here. A factor for even is equal to 
sigma n is equal to 1 to n a n cos e power n minus 1 into a, where a n is the excitation coefficient. So, this is for odd number, this is for even number. Okay. So, clear? So, this is the all the things about binomial error. What is the main advantage of a binomial array? We will get, mm, we will get uh, uh, a radiation pattern which consists of only major loop. But what is the disadvantage in binomial array? So see here I will draw on diagram. So by using this binomial array, I may get only the major loop. Only major loop. Here I don't find any side loops. No side loops. But for an ordinary array, for an ordinary array, I may get the radiation pattern like this, but I will get side loop. So what is the disadvantage we have noticed between this diagram and this diagram? For example, let us assume that here, here I have used seven elements, here also I have used seven elements. For this, all elements are fed with equal magnitude, equal magnitude, but here, uh, this uh, seven elements are fed according to the Pascal triangle, okay, not uh, uniform um, amplitudes. I have provided non-uniform amplitudes, non-uniform amplitudes. But what is the disadvantage you have noticed here? What about gain? If the gain is very less, if the gain or directivity is less, but here the gain is high. Gain is high. Gain is high. So, we want to compromise. Okay, so what is the major advantage of a binomial array? You get only the major loop, but what is the disadvantage? Directivity is very, very less. The directivity is very, very less. Okay, so this is all the things regarding binomial regarding pattern. Okay, now let us go to the third one called as binomial array. 